So we're in uh, Cannes still, World Series of Poker Europe, and here with Sam Trickett. Um, how's things, Sam? Really good. Yeah, yeah obviously a uh, really good year for me. Yeah. Um, everything I touch at the minute seems to be turning to gold. Yeah. A uh, little bit disappointing with how Cannes gone because. I got stacks and had deep runs in both both the tournaments I played and uh, right. didn't turn into anything. But can't complain. I'm playing really well and uh, so I think yeah. I, maybe ne maybe I'll go to San Marino in a few hours and yeah. see what happens there. I uh, we watched you a little bit yesterday in the in the high roller, which is a really sick tournament, really 50,000 euro buy-in and possible rebuys. Uh, and we sort of came up with you would be the favorite there in some way. You know what I mean? You're the one most fit to play a tournament like that. Would you agree on that? Um, I've definitely been successful in that type of format before, so I understand what you're saying. Um, I don't know, I just seem to uh, like these type of tournaments. Um, lots of chips, and it plays like a little bit more like a cash game because you're so deep. Yeah. Um, and obviously, I've played with all the guys from Macau before, and and pretty much every player in the field, so maybe that gives me increases my age a little bit, but yeah. I would like to think that I'm one of the favourites. Yeah, I think this is one of the first times that all those guys came out here from Macau, right? Yeah. Uh, they haven't been out as much before, what I know anyway. Do you, uh, you, you become friends with them? Yeah, um, I've been friends with them for a couple of years now, since yeah. I started playing in the game. Um, they're all really nice guys, they love poker, um, and they're all like travelling around, they've had some success in tournaments so far, and. That success has like led them on to like wanting to play more and more and more. So uh, hopefully they'll keep travelling around and, and create bigger prize pools and uh, yeah. more players for these big buying tournaments. Yeah, yeah, of course. That was funny. I watched them playing a, a sit and go the other day, and, and one guy who's been in Macau a lot says, "You're supposed to slow roll." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's the best thing about Macau. <laughs> like you play in the game, and it's just so much more fun. It's more relaxed at, uh, atmosphere when you play, and slow rolls they love it. Like so yeah. even in big pots, it's like. Obviously, it's not malicious. Just yeah, of course not. Of course not. And uh, it's almost like slow roll is the new cool thing to do. Like, that, that's what I heard. I mean, <laughs> someone would be upset if you don't slow roll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah <laughs> if you get the opportunity. Yeah, if you get the opportunity, especially on your friend, you've just got to do it. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, that's part of the game. It makes it more fun, <laughs> more laughs. Yeah, you obviously you don't do it to people. You don't. If the pot's really significant to someone and you realise that yeah. you could potentially upset them, you would never do it, obviously. No, no, but no. Yeah, if it's just a small pot and you're messing around with your friends, it's, yeah, it's yeah. all part of the game. It makes it more fun. Yeah, uh, yeah I know. Um, Macau is still, I mean, you've been there for a few years now, yeah? Yeah, on and uh, off for the last couple of years. And it's still sort of a, a protected game many times and a protected area. It hasn't been too much revealed about it. Is that how people there prefer it to be? or? Yeah, that's just the way um, every, pretty much every player in the game likes it to be and that's the way it's probably going to stay. Yeah. Um, just because it's not really anyone else's business right. uh, who's winning and who's losing. And, um, you know, like, it's okay saying how you've done personally and what have you like that, but some people choose not to, some people choose to. Like, uh, They're not offended if you say how you've been doing or anything no. like that, but um, a lot of people just prefer to keep their own business to yeah. themselves. I, th I, I sort of uh, like that view on it. It's, it's, uh, it just creates uh, envy and, uh, yeah, it's and just, stuff like that. Yeah. So, so how much time do you spend in Macau? Do you, do you have a record of some kind? Uh, of uh, over the last year, for example? No, I've never really spent more than three weeks at a time there. Um, just because the, the it's like it's hard work going there. Like you go there and you, they play long sessions, like 25 up 30 hour sessions, and then they play every day. So you wake up, you go play. You wake up, you go play. You, yeah. you don't really get much to do in between. I try and squeeze the gym in in between just to like stay mentally sharp and uh, and what have you, and just try and feel fresh as well when I'm playing. This takes it out of you. Yeah. Like the endurance playing for that long. So. I mean, um, the, the question, uh, what else do you do in Macau but playing poker? Yeah, that's, I was just about to say, so when you do go there, really. it kind of gets a bit boring, that's why I only stay there for a few weeks per time. Yeah. But it's a good place to go and just play poker, solely play poker, there's no other distraction because there's not much light life. And, and there's always a game going on, there's more a or less? Yeah, there's a game going on somewhere, Even uh, maybe not for me because the, the private games are not running all the time because sometimes you have lack of players so yeah but it's I don't mind I, I enjoy going there personally because because yeah. I like to party and whatever you like that and it's hard for me when I go traveling to these like nice venues not to go out drinking when there's nice places to go and, and a lot of good friends and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah but when I go to there there's like it's not you, really it's that business. much temptation it's, yeah it's the office yeah it's <laughs> like the office gym poker we'll sleep that's all I do so yeah. I like it there is, is there a um uh, have you thought about uh, um, being invited to the private games there? What, what, what uh, things do you have to think of? I mean, treat everyone with respect, I guess. 
Uh, I don't think you is have it? to particularly act a certain way. You just go and play how you would in any other game. Like, uh, and I don't know if they. It's more to do with like they like the style you play. Like, if yeah, you play a lot of angles, you might more chance of get being able to play. But I don't really want to say too much on like no, no. what you got to do to get in and what that because it's strictly private. And the simple fact is if. I mean, if, if you're invited to play, then fair enough. But if not, like, you don't really want people creeping around trying to figure not. out ways to of get course. in. No, 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 it's no. not the type no. of game that... that... That was not what I meant. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the, the, uh, you need to sort of have a decent personality. Yeah, And you might course, get barred, yeah. you know? Yeah, these oh, yeah, um, the players that's been allowed to play before, and um, that they, they've lost and still not invited back just because they, it's not... It's, you're not sat there to, like, win each other's money as such. I mean, you are, but... But like, it'd be nice if you do. But like, it's more of a friendly environment. Uh, and it's uh, just that's it, what I'm after. The enjoyment yeah. of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there was a big. Um, you had you had a lot of success over the last year, but maybe the most significant one was the second place in the one drop. Yeah. Has, did it sink in? Uh, and uh, I mean, how long time did it take? Because it's a big, big amount of money. I have really always had a really good feeling about this tournament. Um, it's mainly why I didn't play much in the World Series at all. I, right. mean, I only played like six tournaments. But uh, I just had a really good feeling, and uh, I'm just really fortunate that it, it came off like I ran pretty good yeah. throughout the tournament. And on the final, if I just needed to get a few more hands, and then uh, I think I could have put a bit more pressure on Antonio because I was in position against him, and it could have caused him a few more problems. But before the heads up, you mean? Yeah, yeah. because uh, I didn't get any hands. Like the best hand I got, I think, was like nines, and I had to fold threes because I got re raised all in. So it was like a little bit frustrating. I was a bit card dead, but. I was like running okay, I just was get a bit card dead and never really had many value hands, so. Yeah. Um, but Antonio played great, do you know what I mean? Like, it was, yeah. was unstoppable that day, he was getting hands and he was just playing great, playing yeah. them well too, so like, yeah. I think to come second is like, I can't be too disappointed at all, really. Did, did you buy a car or something recently? Yeah. I think I read about that, maybe you don't want to answer that. Yeah, I, well, when I win something in poker, um, I like to try and buy something. Um, to like reward myself, right? And it, like I like to look at it like, oh, and I won Partouche, That's what I got for it. When I won this, I got that. Yeah. And I have like it's like my little trophies. So I did. Yeah, I bought the the new Ferrari, uh, the, the four five eight Spider, um, just because ever since I've been a little boy, like I've always wanted to have a Ferrari. I think what most young boys did do. Is that pretty close to the the the, uh, the, the very top price you can ever get? It is to I me. Mean, I don't know what it is to other people. Like, I mean, I had an Audi R eight as well, but it was like. It was a brilliant car, I can't fault it, um, but it was just not a Ferrari to me in my head. And I was just like, I've always wanted a Ferrari since I was little. And I don't know, maybe after a year or two, I'll sell it because I've like got it out of the way now. It, I need yeah. to get it out of my system. But, yeah. Because it's a little bit too flash. To be honest, I feel <laughs> a bit it? like when I'm like driving and I see people at the lights, I don't, I'm like, I don't really want to look at them because I feel like a bit of a douche. <laughs> but I know what you're saying. Yeah, and I, don't, I can't look at people in the eye. Like, you're not that kind of guy usually. Yeah. And uh, you can't open the door and explain. You see, the yeah. thing is that. Yeah. So it was like, <laughs> I don't I don't know. It's a little bit weird driving it. Like, I, I, I try not to drive through town and try to like go around the side so no one sees me yeah. and stuff. Because I, I mean, don't know. But since you travel a lot, where do you keep it? It's just locked up in my garage. Yeah. Yeah, I have a garage at home um, and I just lock it up in there. Where do you live now? Uh, Midlands somewhere. Midlands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like I moved to Nottingham for uh, a year in yeah. Belsize and it was beautiful, really yeah. lovely. I really enjoyed living there. But I, the truth is, I moved there to play in like poker games, and then I got su such big results in tournaments that the games wasn't really big enough for me anymore. Anyway, right. so I had, now so I decided to move back home with my, like my friends and family, and my girlfriend, and uh, you can just live nicer life. Well, not you buy a bigger house and whatever you like that. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, so uh, planning to go to San Remo now, playing uh, the main event, I guess. There's some other side tournaments as well. And then what? Um, yeah, if I do go to San Marino, I'll only play the main. Maybe the high roll, depending on players. I yeah. never really play the side events just because I don't... I, I know I'm not going to play well in them just because yeah. um, I need to be motivated to, for me to perform. Yeah. Um, and they don't really get me going. So I'll just play the main event, which still be big... For, I always want to win main events because I think they're the hardest type of event to win because mm. such big fields and what have you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll go there and then maybe I'll get a trip into Macau yeah. before before Christmas. Yeah, I know, I will, last thing, um, the Global Poker Index and, and, and stuff like that, uh, scores and records, is that something that is important to you? Do you care about it? Do you? Uh, not really. No, you follow them. A lot of it's the the first thing for me is the money. Like I want to win lots of money. It's nice to get recognition for your results that you get. But um, this the global poker index. I think if you want to like if 
you're serious about that, you kind of have to play all the side events. Right, you need to right. travel around. And I think you'll find if you're a decent player and you play a lot more tournaments than everybody else, you give yourself more chance of being high up in those rankings. Yeah. So I don't even think it truly um, defines the best player anyway. I think it's just a lot goes down to volume and, do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. So. I don't know, it's hard to ever have an official ranking in, in, it's very in hard, poker, yeah. is it? But yeah. it's like, I understand the theory and it's quite a... It's, it's almost like you should have some kind of, you should uh, gather a bunch of guys and uh, have a vote or something, you know? Yeah, and even so, it's like, you can't even say that someone's no. the best player in the world because it's all different types of poker. There's short-handed, there's heads yeah. up, do you know what I mean? There's ring game, there's, do you know what I mean? There's uh, sit and goes, there's, there's so many different types of poker. It's like, it's hard to say that someone's the best because oh. you have to be good at all, all of it and the truth is there's different people better at all them different of types course. of poker so but you, you know a lot of poker players have decent egos which is sort of an important factor if you want to become a good player uh, and they would say i know i'm among the best yeah now, it's pretty tight if you, you should count everyone who said that yeah if someone asked you outside poker where would you and they said where would you rank yourself in the world as a poker player would you answer that wouldn't you I just wouldn't answer it just because that's what I thought. I just wouldn't answer it no matter I'm top what. Top hundred. Yeah, yeah, I, I do all right. Yeah, I've done, I've done good, and then I've made a lot of money. Over Might, the be last few years. Might be top ten. Might be top ten in the world. Yeah, I but would say that. That's, that's good enough. Yeah. All right. Excellent, Sam. Good luck to you, and I'll see you soon again. Okay. Thank you.